Lily, sweetie, do you want me to pack your bathing suit for the party? Only if you want to wear it. Is that the sass we love or the back talk we hate? Unclear. You yeah. know, there's a fine line between quippy and mean. I show her Golden Girls, it's just not thinking. Yeah. Okay. Honey, honey, it's gonna be fun. Longinus said lots of kids are gonna be there. Exactly. I'm not gonna wear a bathing suit in front of a bunch of judgy tweens. It's daddy time. Now? Shouldn't we go talk to Lily? Oh. Hey! Oh, hell. Honey, what have we always taught you? Love who you are as you are. Yes, being comfortable in your skin is the most attractive thing. I mean, look at us. We're hardly Christy Turlington and Naomi Campbell. Could have picked dudes. But we know what we have to offer. And we're proud of it. it it's important that you go to this party and you, you feel good about who you are. I mean, you have a gorgeous body. No, thank you. Yeah, you're a little hotty. Pass. I mean, if I was a cartoon wolf and I saw you, my eyes would be like, ah, oh. Stop! I will go if you never talk to me like this again. Oh, no. Look what I found on the ground. We're too late. Sorry, Jay. Do you want to talk about it? No! I don't want to seem like a sad sack. Excuse me. What is it about this candy? It just tasted like summer or something. I don't know, but out with the old, in with the new. Candy bars come and go. No more record stores. Six-year-old sons too grown up to go trick-or-treating with their dads. No more beefers. Are you that bum that Joe didn't want to spend Halloween with you? No, it's just the beginning of the whole thing. You know, when, when you break that seal. Look, I know Joe wanted to be with his friends tonight, but he'll definitely want to spend another Halloween with his dad. How do you know that? Kids have a way of coming back. Even if they have to make up a dumb reason to do it. Happy Halloween, kid. Honey, you can't be mad that I wasn't scared by that movie. It was a baby. It had three rows of teeth. Baby teeth. Look, it's not your fault. It's just that next to you, I feel like such a wuss. Just because you get a little bit squirrely in a movie doesn't make it. Wait, hang on, why are we crossing the street? Our house is right down. Wait a minute, you're not afraid of the little lady's house, are you? You don't know she's little. All we know is she sits up there plotting evil from her window. She's not there. She's always there. This stops now. We're going to go knock on that door, introduce ourselves, and put an end to this nuttiness. Huh. Well, that's weird timing. The, um, the envelope Alex dropped off, the, the old lady never picked it up. What was that? Oh, God, Phil, what if she fell? We should go check on her. Yeah, I guess so. I am uh, right behind you. I'm just going to go find a flashlight. It was simplicity itself. A year ago, Claire accused me for the millionth time that I couldn't scare her, so I came up with a plan. I just sold a house to a European couple that weren't going to take possession for a while, so uh, last fall, Ida May moved in. I told you, she's always up there. Fortunately, the house was right on Claire's jogging route, so it was easy to introduce Claire to Ida May. And when I wanted to amp it up, I had Ida May make contact. <laughs> hey! Then this morning, I knew that ax wouldn't scare Claire. I just did that so she'd accuse me of not being able to scare her. It's all about plausibility. Damn right it is. Over the past year, Ida May joined the Neighborhood Association, hung up a poster for a lost dog, signed up for Meals on Wheels. They're not bad, by the way. Also, she got a lot of knitting done. 
<laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Claire. Did I scare you? You did this? Yep. How long have you played? 11 this months, thing? two weeks, and three days ago, I gave birth to Ida May Man because Ida May Man. Oh, don't you dare do wordplay, Phil. Sorry. I was having so much fun. What? I was wondering what we were going to do for the next 30 years of our lives without the kids in the house. And now I know. You're getting twisted. I like it. Game on. Uh-uh. Uh uh, G game on. What do you mean, game on? It's it's game over. Nope. Watch your back, buddy. This is gonna be so much fun. Can't we just travel? <laughs> <laughs>